Um, use your toilet here, so you know that uh, you're not uh, nothing is wasted. Uh, so the water here then from the all the toilet in the house plus the kitchen. So the toilet you call them black water, uh, black water and grey water. Every black water and grey water from the house go to the small septic tank outside, which uh, uh, where we put also uh, the red tiger worm, which is it's never been done before, but this is like a, the first time. So I would like also to see how the worm doing. I'd like to show you. So here is our uh, septic tank, uh, the black water and grey water all here from the house. And um, I put worm there so therefore uh, the subsurface flow good to, to, to um, filter the nutrient but of course there's always question about pathogen. So I always uh, trying to think well, okay what is the best way to get rid of pathogen. So uh, in nature worm function is to, to neutralize pathogen so I thought okay let's add worm in our uh, septic tank system. A lot of people didn't believe this will work, but, but this will prove them wrong. So, so if you closer here, so you can see the worm, they, are, they hate light. So when I open the, the cover, they will escape. But we have like, see the, here is tons of worm. They are they're living happy here. It's correct environment, the right environment for them, cold, wet and dark so it's perfect the first day if you put a uh, uh, worm into the uh, system uh, where it still uh, I mean the, the cement was still still new no good so you have to wait you have to wait until the, the indicator is because here we put like you see we put sponge there we put some raft for the worm so once that uh, becoming uh, becoming a little bit um, a rot, that meaning uh, uh, protozoa is starting to, to uh, activate, then you put worm, and then it will be okay. But don't put worm as soon as you finish, and you put it there, then it will kill. It will kill anything because of the cement. Mm. So, um, but but it's also it's energy intensive if you put water there for two days because of the cement and you take that water out then just for me not doing that i mean it's just too difficult i just leave the water there and put some uh, 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 organic matter on the surface something that float where the worm can can live and then leave it there and the indicator is when things starting to rot and the manure starting to rot a bit with that then i put the worm in and they'll be happy So much more light here than the other system. So plants are doing better. And then, uh, so again, the nutrient-rich water uh, flow under the gravel. That's why they call it subsurface flow system. And here I put fish, and bottom feeder, medium feeder, and surface feeder like tilapia. You can see they're floating there. They um, uh, they surface feeder and they multiply very quick. And they're good for mosquito control. And if you have any problem with pond, there's mosquito and then just put tilapia and they, they will eat the mosquito larvae in a few days. So there's catfish here also. If I put some food there, you can see them, they're coming up. Also, this is like, um, uh, like, you know, there's a big demand for catfish. You know, there's many padang food around here and they go around and buy catfish. So it just, you know, it's just a matter of um, uh, uh, like uh, thinking. And okay, so I have this uh, fish pond here. How could I increase my uh, yield? Just I know that I can sell catfish easily, so I just add catfish here, and then in a few months they will grow big, and then I can sell it. Uh, but I won't tell them it's from black and grey water, though. <laughs> If you put fish here and then you come back the next day and all dead, and you think, and you that's indicate your system is is not function, so there will be so many uh, toxics or pathogen 
uh, come here that's killing the fish. So that's how you know. Uh, so here, when you see a fish, it's okay. They, um, they. I know the tilapia, especially, especially they're floating to the, to the uh, surface because there's a low oxygen in this water because there's no aeration, you know. So, um, um, but that's okay. I mean, they, they, um, they survive with that. So, uh, if I want in the future, uh, I could add like a solar pump to cr to increase the oxygen in the water. So, but I'm happy with it. Uh, at the moment, you know, high mm -hmm. is at the moment, so.